Hey everybody, this is Brandon here from betteratEverything.info and this is part 7 of my AutoCAD Basics series. In this video we'll be covering setting up a layout or paper space and printing your drawing. Let's get started. So in our last one we came up with this drawing here and this includes uh, three layers uh, polyline, circle, line, and a rectangle as well as a polygon around the outside here and I'm going to show you how to bring in the title block that you can download on my website better at everything.info or any title block that you may have or drawing template anything like that and set it up in layout space so that you can print your drawing as we discussed in earlier videos model space is where you draw your drawings at one to one scale and it's in layout or paper space where you set them up with a title block, a scale bar, a north arrow, and you can print them at various scales that you can choose by using a viewport. Uh, I'll get more into the specifics of viewports in the, probably the next video, but I will show you a little bit about them in this one. So by clicking on the layout tab right here, we've brought ourselves to our paper space or layout space. This is what will show up when printed. Uh, outside of the dotted line is the outside of the printable area. This green box here shows our viewport. This is what's going to show up in the drawing. If you double click on the inside, you can use the, the mouse wheel by pushing in and drag your drawing around what's going to get shown in the printable area and also scroll in or out to change the scale. To pick an exact scale, you choose your viewport by clicking on it, right clicking, and bringing up the properties. Now on the left here you can choose custom scale. I'm going to use 0 0.1 right now, which is a 1 to 10 scale, though none of these were drawn to uh, any dimensions so this will depend on your drawing. But I'm going to show you how to bring in a title block right now so we can make this look good, kind of professional and a place where you can add a drawing title, a client name, any of that kind of stuff. So we're going to say, we're going to right click on your layout tab that you're in and you're going to say from template. And earlier I took the, the uh, title blocks I downloaded off my website. So if you look here, you can see the files that I downloaded. You're going to open up the title block portrait or title block landscape drawings and save them as a .dwt, which is in the drop down, which I'll show you that real quick right here. Um, all right, over here, save as, and right here under file type, click the drop down and choose drawing template right here. Uh, this is just one of many ways, but this is the way I'm going to go over today. Once you've saved your landscape or portrait uh, template, you can bring it in to your layout space here. So from template, here are mine here, portrait and landscape. We're going to bring in landscape because this is a landscape drawing. Select it, click open, choose the right one. Some drawings will have more than one layout. Hit OK. And here it is over here. You can see we have a third tab. You click over to it. This is our title block. It's got room for client name and project info, the drawing title, um, initials for design, CAD work, review, uh, the scale, file number, and you can put your own custom logo up in the top here. This would be inserted as an image or drawn in AutoCAD and just copied there. This box here as you can see it highlights around it when you click on that that's our viewport this is a custom one I've made and added to the drawing that you can download which is available on the website for free again if you subscribe to the newsletter by double clicking in here and typing in Z enter E enter it brings up the extents of our drawing now by choosing our uh, viewport right clicking properties I'm going to change our scale to, uh, let's say, 0 0.05, which is
which will be a 1 to 20 scale. That looks about right. You can see all of the drawing easily. You can see the different colors. It works out well. You can also see that uh, my drawing template has a script here that will automatically put the path where you've saved your drawing. It's kind of neat. As well as the date. And over here is uh, your revisions. You can turn all these off by clicking here and turning off the revision data. Uh, revision data, revision data, revision base. There you go. You can also remove that later if you'd like. All right, so now that you've inserted your title block, you've used your viewport to find a correct scale. You can add anything else you'd like to your drawing, like a legend over here, a scale bar, a north arrow up here maybe, whatever you need. When you're ready to print, you're going to right click on your tab, and you're going to go plot. Now before we do that, I'm going to set up my plot manager, my page setup manager by clicking right here and clicking modify once you've selected the landscape letter click modify to bring up the page setup menu and from here we're going to choose DWG to PDF so we can print to a PDF rather than a printer if you've got a printer next to your computer or hooked up you can choose your printer uh, next I'm going to choose paper size for this one I'm going to choose full bleed 8.5 by 11 and that just makes sure that uh, the entire border is going to be visible. Uh, I'm going to leave it on extents and center the plot. I'm going to make sure this says landscape and that the scale isn't changed, that it's one to one. Uh, and the rest here you can leave, uh, they're pretty basic though, you can plot object line weights, transparencies, plot styles. Uh, that's about all we need. Now you can click preview and as you can see the drawing looks right. You can see the viewport line here. That's for the whole box around our drawing. Everything seems to look good. So hit close for the preview window. Now hit OK. Now your page setup is completed. Click close. Right click on your layout tab. Click plot. And then from here, you're ready to plot. I'm not going to plot this because uh, I don't need to, but for you to plot, you simply hit OK now. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the website, betteratEverything.info. Thank you.